WMC. It's Cheryl Pearson, your Director of Children's Ministries, and I'm excited to have you join us today for our children's moment. Throughout the year, we celebrate different times of the life of Jesus. For example, at Christmas time, we celebrate the birth of Jesus. At Easter, we celebrate his resurrection. This time of year is called Lent, and it begins on Ash Wednesday. As we prepare for Easter throughout Lent, we want to reflect on our hearts and decide who is filling us. What is filling us? Are we giving our time and our talents to God? Is there something that we need to give up because it's not honoring God? During Lent, we remember what Jesus Christ did for us on the cross. Our scripture passage today talks about how Jesus was baptized by John the Baptist and then how he entered a 40-day period of temptation in the desert. Do you all know what it means to be tempted? Oh my gosh, boys and girls, I'm trying to focus over here and I smell somebody's lunch and I'm so hungry. Okay, I need to focus so I can help you guys with this lesson today. Cheryl, stay focused, stay focused. Okay, so where was I? Oh yes, temptation. So temptation is something that distracts us. Temptation is something that we want or desire, something that usually is not a good idea. Oh gosh, I really smell this lunch, you guys. My stomach is growling, do you hear it? I need lunch, like right now. The smell of this food is really tempting me. Though Jesus wasn't tempted by the lunch that he smelled in the office, he was tempted with hunger and with power and with things. Jesus made wise choices. He kept turning to God every time he encountered a temptation. When the Holy Spirit is with us, Satan is gonna do his best to get in the way and spoil God's plans. One way he does that is by tempting God's people that's us to sin. Jesus chose God when he was tempted. In the desert, we see that Jesus was lacking every single thing that a human being would need to survive. He was able to endure and resist Satan's attacks. First, the devil tried to tempt Jesus with physical needs. Jesus was in the desert for 40 days and he was fasting, which means he didn't have any food for that whole time. He was hungry. So Satan first attacked Jesus's physical needs. Jesus responded to Satan's temptation saying, man shall not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes out of the mouth of God. Jesus used the Bible, the words of his father to stand up to temptation. Next, Satan tempted Jesus with power. Don't we all like power? Satan says to Jesus, if you are God, then prove it. Do you know how Jesus responded again? That's right, with scripture. Jesus said, it is also written, do not put the Lord your God to the test. Finally, Satan tempted Jesus's loyalty to God. Satan offered Jesus a whole kingdom on earth, which didn't require that Jesus suffer and die on the cross. All Jesus had to do was bow down to Satan. Do you have a guess on how he responded this third time? That's right, with scripture. Jesus said, away from me, Satan. It is written, worship the Lord your God, serve him only. Boys and girls, Satan can be a trickster, can't he? He will do anything to tempt God's people with lies and deceit, but he can't overcome the power of God. We can overcome temptation too, because we have God's help. We have the Holy Spirit. So boys and girls, what is tempting you today? Are you tempted with power? Are you tempted by wants and desires for things? Temptation itself is not a sin because we know that Jesus never sinned even though he was tempted. When we give in to the temptation, that's when it becomes a sin. This Lenten season, let's ask God to reveal the things that are tempting our hearts to pull us away from him. Let's pray together. Dear God, thank you that we know you are with us no matter what we are tempted with. Thank you that Jesus is our example. He turned to you in times of temptation. Help us to do the same. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.